How to replace the thermal paste on your laptop. Today, let's replace the thermal paste on the Asus TUF gaming laptop as our followers have requested. Get ready to revitalize your laptop by reducing your CPU's temperature by 8 degrees Celsius in just 6 easy steps. Step 1, get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2. Remove the laptop case and battery. Place the laptop face down and remove the four screws along the top of the rear cover, the one screw in the middle, and the six screws along the bottom. Pay attention to the sizes of the screws to avoid any problems. The two middle screws along the top are a different size to the two outer screws. Then along the bottom, the four inner screws are a different size to the two outer screws. Use a storage box or a magnetic mat to avoid confusion about the different sizes of screws, or alternatively use a magnetic pad for optimum results. Then use the triangular pry tool and the suction to open the laptop's case. After opening the case, unplug the small power cord connected to the battery Press the power button for 15 seconds to discharge. Step 3. Remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. After removing the 8 screws on the heatsink, take off the heatsink, and you'll see the old thermal paste dried on the CPU and GPU. Put on the gloves and use the thermal paste cleaning wipes to remove the dried thermal paste from the heatsink and processor. If you don't have thermal paste wipes, you can use a lint-free towel with high concentration alcohol instead. You will see that the thermal paste on the laptop has dried up, and the heat dissipation efficiency has decreased after nearly two years of use, so we should remove all the thermal interface materials. Step 4. Apply thermal paste. Apply some of the high-performance thermal paste onto the CPU and GPU. You can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the P-size method if you like. Step 5. Remove and clean the fan. This is an optional step, and you can skip it if you don't want to clean the fans. Remove the three screws from the left fan and the two screws from the right fan, and then use tweezers and a spudger to remove the connectors. After that, be careful with the wires and remove the fans on both sides. Besides using a brush to clean off the dust on the fans, you can also use an air blower or compressed air for better cleaning results. Step 6. Reassemble your laptop. Reinstall the heatsink, fan, battery, and case in reverse order, then the job is done. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.